It's my birthday. It's a holiday, dear. Many times you will come across scammers who use fake profiles and will start a chat with a target victim and often tell the person that it's their birthday or their child's birthday in a week or two, or their birthday in a few days. They often tell you nearly within moments of chatting. This is to plant a seed in your mind. The romance scammer typically then uses their fake profile to weave a story of being a widow, despair, being alone, lonely. They will often tell you that they have a young motherless child who is having a birthday soon, but their bank account has an issue and they need you to help supply a gift, typically in the form of a gift card. Keep in mind there'll be no child and that gift card you buy will be used by the scammer you're chatting with. See it as a red flag if someone you've just met and are chatting with online feels the need to suddenly declare that they have a birthday or their child's birthday is soon. Another factor in romance scammers are holidays. While Christmas is when most scammers target people at a rapid rate, often talking to several target victims at once to try and make promises of love, romance, and family, they also prey on you during other holidays as well such as Easter, Thanksgiving, and more, often using the same tactic as the birthday celebration, stating they are alone or their child is alone on that particular holiday and they need you to buy them a gift. Romance scammers prey on the emotions of victims who also might not have family to be around during a holiday and use that to pull at your heartstrings to convince you that they will be your family and their imaginary child would want you to be in their life. Once they have you emotionally manipulated, they then ask for cash or gift cards to help celebrate the holiday. While for many the holiday seasons are spent with family, there are many who spend it alone and scammers know this and target those who might feel vulnerable during a holiday. Something such as a holiday dinner with family, while the norm for most, for a lot it's something they miss. And a romance scammer will fill the void by promising all of that and more. But there'll be a catch. They'll need a gift card or some cash, as they will be away, out of the country, deployed, at sea, or some other excuse. And that child of theirs will be at a boarding school or with a nanny. And a scammer will ask you to provide for them as there will always be a financial crisis, frozen bank account, or some other excuse why they can't help. Keep in mind also romance scammers target victims during the summertime, often stating their child's alone and wish they could take them on a summer vacation, but they're deployed and hope that you can help financially. Always look for the red flags and don't let the thought of a birthday or some other holiday event or a child's summer vacation pull at your heartstrings and to cause a scammer to worm their way into your heart and into your bank account. If anyone asks you for money or gift cards, be it for a birthday, an Easter gift, or a summer vacation or graduation gift for their imaginary child, block them and move on. It'll almost always be a scam.